Parkview Pandas. Good morning, Parkview Pandas. Happy Monday. We are so happy to see you back at school today. We sure are. I know I had a relaxing weekend. How about you? Oh, it was great. We are loving this fall weather. And I'm ready to be back at school for learning. We sure are. And here we are to talk about the hallway expectations using our cares at Parkview. So, thinking about the hallway, sometimes I'm here with my class and sometimes I'm here by myself. Yeah, and everyone has been doing such a great job practicing their hallway expectations, especially when they're with their teacher or another adult in the building, because then they have someone reminding them what to do, like walking with their safe body, keeping their hands and body to, hands and body to themselves. I've always had a question. Yeah. Mrs. Garcia, can you help me understand why do our teachers ask us to line up? Well, just so that we're safe in the hallway when there's lots of people going both ways, then we can share the space. Ah, uh, so we share a space, especially when people are going both ways, and that way there aren't accidents and we're bumping into each other getting hurt. Yeah, just like Great. when we're driving down the street, we have to keep and share the road. Um, Mrs. Garcia, I'm wondering, why don't I walk down the hallway like this, touching the walls? Well, I am giving reminders a lot of times to our friends at Parkview that are doing that. We see lots of friends who like to keep their hands all the way down the hall, or maybe their bodies are rolling on it as they go down the hall. But do you know, our custodial team at Parkview spends a lot of time in the summer painting our walls and washing the walls to keep them looking so nice, especially our white walls and it takes a lot of time and every time we have our handprints on it it makes them dirty and it keeps the paint from looking so nice and fresh so anything we can do to help our custodial team keep the building looking so great that is really helpful so one we want to keep the building clean but what i was thinking while you were talking is that if i'm touching the walls and everyone else was touching the walls i might get their germs on me and I might get sick. That's true. That is very, very true. Okay. Yeah. What can you tell me about a voice volume? So when we're in the hallway, we want to keep our voice at a silent or a voice level zero. And because lots of these areas are learning places. They are learning places. So if I'm being loud in the hallway, I'm bothering classrooms by me. That's right. We don't want to upset the learning places. So if I'm walking with my teacher, I'm staying in line, I've got a quiet voice, and I'm looking forward, getting to where I need to go. Giving maybe a silent wave oh. or a finger wave. Yeah, so that you can say hello in a friendly way. Well, what's different than I when I'm... I even had some friends giving me a wink when they went by the Oh day. boy. Well, what's different when I'm by myself and not with my classroom? Nothing. It Nothing? should be exactly the same. The same? Exactly the same. So I should not have running feet? No running feet. I should not have a loud voice? Your voice should still be a zero. And I should not be rolling over the walls? You should not be rolling over the walls or I'm going to wonder if something's wrong with you. Okay, so I'm going to just walk. Please walk. And the last one here is being responsible going the shortest way from where you start to where you need to be. Not going all the way around the building unless there was a reason that you were supposed to do that. So today... I'm going to walk right where I'm supposed to go without running feet and without any noise. Gosh, thanks for teaching me today, Mrs. Garcia. <laughs> You're welcome. Being safe, respectful, responsible. Let's look for those things today using our cares. I sure will. All right. I hope you have a great day, Panda. Have a great day.